Where does the name Super Wolf come from? Yeah. It was a Halloween costume. Alejandro Humberto Villalobos. Okay. There you go. It's actually, well, it's Spanish in origin, but yeah, I'm, family's Cuban. Wow. Yeah. Okay. There's an actual town in Spain called Villalobos. Minute, me think he's kooky. Come on, dude, please. <laughs> Typically, it's pretty hard to get a job in a factory. Uh, I mean, he's pretty good, I guess. But I don't know what happens beyond this. <laughs> I just keep taking from here, and everything else changes. Like, it kind of morphs, and it's kind of like reads. Like, sometimes, like, this whole thing I need to do, but I, I don't have any, um, I don't have any yellow tint. And I got, like, ten olive tint boards to do, and I don't have any yellow. I have enough to do any one. I had a rad scenario with fucking Cookie Monster the other day. I was, this is the real zone. So. All of these I ones. Poser shit over this there. is all for you. <laughs> this over is there. What is up, what's up over there? It's just poser stuff, huh? Yeah, some some guys like fucking doing this shit. I don't know. What, I don't know what that is. Who is that? It's like yeah, this graffiti artist from. Oh, I thought he was like from Barstow or something. <laughs> Good seeing you, man. <laughs> what are we doing? Inflate my bed first, though. So that when it's dark, I don't gotta fuck around with it. This thing sounds fucking gnarly, huh? <laughs> Festival experience. Get your shit straightened out first, cause later you're not gonna know which way's up. How's this, dude? It's like I'm ready for chart house. Alex, I just got a really good shot of you I wanted to show you. Check this out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful, man. <laughs> really capturing my good side. What are you guys copying now? Sometimes guys are either like really good sanders or really good with resin. And you kind of fork off into whichever one you, you like more or you're better at. You know, some guys can do it all, but they're usually better at something. I grew up in Miami and I moved to California in 1992. Yeah, I was just shy of my 19th birthday. No, 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 I didn't. I didn't know shit. I mean, aside from fixing dings horribly, um, I, didn't, I wasn't in the industry over there. I was, I was kind of, I mean, a couple friends of mine did some glassing and stuff, and I always thought it was like super cool and I always wanted to get into it, but the opportunity wasn't there. So then when yeah. I moved here, I was a barista panicking in La Jolla for a little bit. Um, I worked at Chart House, too, in La Jolla, uh, and I worked at um, Emerald City and Club Tremors <laughs> in PB. Um, so I was bar backing there, and then loved that job, surfed my ass off, like made enough money in three, three days a week to, I mean, of course, this is like early, mid-90s. Your phone's like ten dollars, <laughs> um, and then when I was there, my friend at Moonlight, uh, James Robertson, aka Jimmy Jazz, he's pretty well known in the industry. Um, he was polishing there, and he got me, he got me a gig there. So that's how I ended up in the surf industry, because it it made sense to me. Shaping never, <laughs> shaping never really made. It looked like a code that I just couldn't, you know. I was like. That's for like those guys, you know? I don't know if I had like an eye for color before I even touched surfboards, but uh, you know, I had an eye for like lightning bolt surfboards and shit and their color patterns and you know, I thought they were like amazing and at the time you didn't see that shit around. I think being exposed to some cool stuff at Moonlight too, you know, like, like watching Peter spray boards and seeing what he was doing. It just sort of like, you know, you start to like pick up on stuff. All the dudes at Moonlight, all the the, the four the four owners like Peter, um, Mark Donnellan, the Glosser, Gary Stuber, the Laminator, and um, Kenny Mann, the Sander. So th those are all the steps basically right there, you know. So just watching those guys, talking to those guys, spending a lot of time there, 
a lot of time. We can, when you're working there, it was like 10 hour shifts or something, you know, surf all day, work way into the light. <laughs> it took a while of eating shit before I was able to do a pretty decent job. Um, but then from there, uh, I started hot coating and putting in leash plugs. And we were also, I was also ripping the floors out of the hot coat room and the lamb room. It's needed, you know, everyone seems like they want to be shapers and, and there's not a lot of glass, there's not a lot of board builders, you know, there's not a lot of sanders, there's not a lot of polishers, there's not a lot of laminators that could actually come in and do it, you know, so, yeah, there's a lot of boards that I like that um, I, ne I never see them again. <laughs> They're like, bye. <laughs> I don't know where that's going, but that thing was pretty badass. Um, yeah, no, it happens for sure, yeah. I try to treat them all like they're mine. Oh yeah. You can repurpose this into a button-down t-shirt. And Florida is like just super playful, but you're getting like a bunch of barrels in a session, you know, more than you'd ever get out here in one session, that's for sure.